Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you recall, in the last tutorial, we were manipulating images using the Fluid and using the FLTK library. In this tutorial, we're going to continue in that same vein as we integrate other libraries uh, like OpenGL and OpenCV in future tutorials. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the code for uh, what the fluid code looks like for the C fluid window FL. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, if I double click on the window, it will show me the image box where the images will be placed, the three buttons, and each button will pre bring an image. Okay, each one has a callback. So nothing very complicated, very simple. So this is what I'm going I'm going to be now showing you the code itself. So let's do nano cmail window cpp. And this is the code. As you can see, I'm in, uh, including iostream, uh, a lot of the libraries from the full tech that you've nothing major. See me on window H, like a header file, like we did in all the tutorials. We're creating here, we're naming here the name of the main window, the name of the three buttons. Uh, here we're creating the callback and it's using user data. So it's using uh, data for three, for two, and for one, one, two, three, because three buttons are using one callback. So they're sharing the same callback. So the way to do it is through the use of data. So each, each, each button will have a different data and it will, uh, that way it will open its particular image. Here we're creating the, the window. Uh, as you can see, it's WinApp like we gave it the name earlier and then it's no fluid window uh, a full tick window or an 800 by 620 and that's the label here we're creating the three buttons and their labels okay these are the sizes sizes of the buttons and where they're placed in the in the uh, box here we're creating uh, the callbacks for each one of these buttons. These are the user data for each one of the callbacks that I just mentioned you. These are the three buttons and they're and tying them to their callback. And here we're doing the images. Okay. Uh, nothing that you haven't seen before. Most of you have seen this if you've been watching some of my tutorials. Here we're creating the box that is going to hold all the images. And here we're, cre we're giving an image to the box to hold it before we click any of the buttons. So nothing very complicated. And now I already ran it. And it's this one right here. So let's just run it. See main window. And there it is. Just like I show you in the fluid, this is the image box here and the three buttons. Uh, this is the main window. Okay, and uh, as you can see here, we choose one of the images by clicking. So we just go Lena, and then here we go to Baboon, here we go to Fruits, go back Baboon, Lena, and so on. Okay, uh, this is just with three images, but as you can see, we can also uh you know get carrier away and have even more images and in this one i have uh nine images and it's, all you need to do is just add buttons add images and add callbacks instead of three user data you're gonna have nine user data and it's the same code but obviously with many more images so you can see it here so I'm going to leave it there here. I'm going to put this in my GitHub page if you want. So you can either copy it from here by watching my video. So you can see it in my, uh, get it from my GitHub page. So here I'll just go control X. 
and then I'm going to run it. It's, I already compiled it, so all I'm going to do is just, it looks just like the other one, but instead of having three buttons, it has ten buttons, uh, nine buttons. Nine, yeah. So it has the placeholder, is the Debian logo. That's the placeholder, just like the other one. And then it goes, but it has a lot more different uh, images, a lot more images. That's me. There's a monkey. That's me again. That's one of my daughter's guinea pigs, butterfly, PCB board, building, fruits, baboon, and Nina. And you get the idea. And this is one way that you can use callbacks in order to, uh, you know, create. Uh, um, this is a very simple graphical user interface, but like I said, they get more and more complex uh, as, as we learn more of their functionality. But this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and GitHub and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you next time with another great tutorial. I hope you have a great day. Take care.